All right, hello everybody in the prom videos and props group. Wow, that was a nightmare. Uh, I was trying to do a Facebook Live and then all of a sudden Facebook Live would close down on me and not tell me that I wasn't even recording. So per typical, I talked to a bunch of people that weren't even listening to me. <laughs> All right, so today I'm going to show my favorite people how to go ahead and make a really cool customized background behind you for boop, no money. Okay, because right, we want to be able to, you know, keep that money in our pocket and not spend it on our classroom. We work really hard for money. Da, 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 da. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a customized digital background, one that you could go ahead and use if you're a green screen queen like me, or one that you could go ahead and print out. So you have really a cool effect of a green screen type banner behind you or a customized banner, but one you didn't have to spend money on to get printed, okay? All you're going to need is a printer, paper, and ink. So I guess you have to spend some money, but I love using the HP Insta Ink because, you know, I barely spend any money a ma a ma each month on uh, printing stuff. I'm going to talk fast because who likes a long video? Nobody. Mm -mm. And there's a good chance things aren't going to work out for me today. So anyway, hello, I'm sharing my screen with you today. Now, what I have done is gone on to Google Slides and I have opened up a new blank Google slide. Now, what I like to do is make my personalized images on Google Slides because it's easy, but there are many programs out there. You can do it on Photoshop or, or, or uh, um, you could do it on, well, you can do it Illustrator. You could do it on anything. But I love things that are user friendly. Uh, and so I just do mine on Google Slides. So what I have done, you can see it right here, um, is I went in and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it from scratch again. Let's go ahead and just do it right from scratch. So here's the finished product. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do five, uh, I'm going to do a, um, just to create a new, a new slide. And what I did was I Googled for um, just a really cute background. And I went on a website called Pixabay. I like Pixabay because they have high resolution and my favorite word, free. High resolution and free images. And I downloaded an image to my computer of a cute background, okay? So that's just, I went on, I write, you know, I downloaded it through Pixabay and, and I saved it on my computer. So what I'll do here is I'm going to click on background right here uh, and I'm going to choose image. It's going to just take me, I'm going to go choose an image to upload and I'm going to find where it was on my computer. It's right here. Uh, it's just this cute background and I install, like I, I click on it and, and there it goes. I just say done. Okay. I'm going to delete where it says click to add title. I just click on it. I hit the delete button. I click on click to add text. I hit the delete button. Okay. So now what I also have done is I've gone on my phone and I've um, I've sorted through and I found a cute bitmoji that I like. It's just one where I'm rolling a snowball. Ill-dressed for winter weather, so I'm sure I'll get pneumonia. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do now is just insert that bitmoji. So I'm just going to insert an image that I've saved to my computer. Upload from computer. It takes me back to that download and here I am. Now because I sent it from my phone using the Bitmoji app just to my email, okay, I sent it as a PNG and we love PNG because that means there's no background behind it, okay? So here I am. Now because I'm going to be putting this behind me, I do need to have this image to the left or to the right of me because in every good classroom we should be front and center. We are the teacher. We are the feature. So let me go ahead and just just put it like right here. I'm going to make myself small. Now, the nice thing about this is I can adjust as needed, move it around as needed, just keep saving it each time. That's okay. Totally okay. Now, I'm going to in, you know, um, I like this. I think it's cute. I can add more characters to it. Um, you know, there's some really cute images uh, in, in my picture above. I inserted um, Meg that somebody modified. Uh, uh, I think it's Kim Fowler. I got to get the right name uh, on the Google slide, uh, on the um, videos and props group. And then what I did was I used this website um, that you remove backgrounds. It's called Remove BG, remove.bg. Um, you can find other ones. You're just going to look for something called background burner and you just hit remove background. It takes the white and it turns it into a JPEG. I'm sorry. It turns it into a ping and you could just download that. Okay. So now um, if I go back into my presentation, I can insert an image, uh, upload from computer, and I'm just going to insert this cute little image of Meg and I will put her right over here. Oh, maybe I'll have her with me. Maybe Meg and I are making a snowball together. Ah, now I'll put her over here. 
Okay. And just, I can adjust the size. All right. And then I want to, uh, I want to have my name. I want everyone to be able to see my name. So all I did really was, um, go in and I typed my name. I changed it to white and I'm going to put it just a bit higher up because I know where it's going to sit. All right. So this is kind of my, my picture that I made. So what's really neat about it now, what I want to do is hit file download and I want to download it as a JPEG image, just the current, um, current slide. Okay. Um, you could also do it really cool as a SVG. If you wanted to, you could turn this into, um, a t-shirt, I guess. I think I might actually do that. All right. JPEG image. All right. And now it's saved to my computer. So now what I can do, like on ManyCam, if I want to, whoa, I'm huge. Um, on ManyCam, I could just go into my background because I green screen. Um, and I could just choose that image uh, right in ManyCam, if I remember where I saved it, right here. Okay. Um, and here is the image that I did. So now I have it, you know, and I would play with it. I'll actually put my, my name up higher. Uh, I'm going to move me a little bit more, um, that way Meg, uh, looks fine where she is. But anyway, now I've made it as a digital background for many camps. So that's kind of cool, right? But let me show you how to go ahead and make it where you can, you could print it out because not everybody uses many camp. So what you're going to do is go to a website called block posters dot com blockposters.com right here and you're going to now upload that jpeg that you saved to your computer all right once you upload it you're going to decide how big do you want it how many pages across how many pages down and you could go all the way up to i think about six before you have to pay for it okay um i like to keep borders on um, and I'll show you why. So once you've created that poster in block posters, you download it and it downloads like this, like a JPEG. So this particular one, a PDF, sorry, I'm going to keep screwing up JPEG, PDF and ping because it's Sunday and I'm tired. Um, so here is like what the image is going to look like. It's broken up actually into six pages, three full size pages and three partial pages. Uh, I have borders. So what I do is you just print these to your printer. It's really kind of cool. Um, and then when you assemble it, what you'll do is simply cut off the border here on one picture, on one page, and then tape it so it overlays, right? You, you just tape them to each other. Cut off an edge on one and tape it and overlay, and you put it together. Now, when you put it together, you want to use tape. You want to use scotch tape. You don't want to use this high glossy tape. You want to use a matte clear tape, okay? And then once you put it on there, you could just rub it with a quarter. Uh, you can rub it with a credit card, just a flat surface, and it'll really make that tape almost look invisible. And now you have a beautiful background to put behind you, whether you want to do it digitally on a program like Minicam OBS Cam Twist, or you want to print it out and just hang it up yourself. You can do it, and you could take it down and put it up as you want to. Make as many posters as you want to. Have fun with it, but be sure to show me them as well. Hey guys, this was great. Fun little Sunday. I was able to jump in. If there's anything else you want to show me, I'm happy to do so. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching again. Bye.